guys in here don't know how my sound gonna do. I'm on the run today. I'm uh moving around. Just had to go and uh get my tag, get my to DMV, and um about to go to the dentist after this. Yeah, so yesterday I didn't get to do a video, and my wife and I we uh painting the inside of the house know painting different rooms and stuff and so the painters was there and it's a mess so I didn't get to have my office because my office being painted so you know soon y'all gonna see my new, my new background in my office get my office painted and um but I'm shooting this video while I'm moving while I'm you know driving that's why I ain't looking at you keyword that's why I'm not looking at you so it's like you riding in the car with me okay now I'm at a red light right now I actually could look at you but you know, one thing it showed me not being able to do a video yesterday is, you know, life happens. Sometimes you just got to live life. And I say that to any and everybody is you got to be able to find a balance in your life. And I think a lot of times as humans, when we get on something, we just do one thing. So it's like you just work. You just work. But you might need to take a week vacation. Put your time in your job not giving you credit for you coming to work 365 days a year they ain't giving you credit for that and like you stacking up all this vacation time and you afraid to take your vacation time because you think they're gonna fire you you think you're gonna look like a bad worker and they're gonna give somebody else the promotion so you work yourself to the bone you know it's come time to where in life we just gotta have balance and I tell myself, I say, man, I want to do a video every day. I want to do a video every day. But sometimes I realize that although it's a part of my job, me teaching, this is coaching. This is life coaching for me when I'm doing a video. That's a part of my job. So my day-to-day, my -day, it consists of consulting individuals. I'm an author consultant. Uh, coaching individuals. So I may coach two to four people a day. And then I may shoot an hour video. And that's my day. But even though that's only typically it's three hours of work that I do each day, even though that's my work, or if I'm doing a project, like right now I'm ghostwriting, so if that's another two hours. But if my work is five hours at the max, it's still certain days that I can't even do that, that I can't do that. And I say that to say that even with a minimal work schedule sometimes life get too crazy get too busy and so you gotta have that balance to where you know when to take off you gotta have that balance to where you know when to invest in you to where it's a time to where instead of shooting I mean instead of working you take your vacation instead of going somewhere you spend that week working on your company writing your book getting the logo made for your company, getting your LLC form. You take that time working on you and creating balance in the sense to where you also take the time and you craft the schedule to, to where you can get your workout in three times a week. Some of you, you could do it seven days a week. So in the course of a day, you find a way to work Work, work your job, work for yourself on your dream, and take care of yourself. Your workout or your sleep, your nap, a nap will save a life. And that's something that I'm learning really just about balance and being okay. You know, I see some people, especially like on YouTube, some people I'm like, man, you got no life. Like, you, you doing video every single day. Some people do multiple videos a day. And really what it becomes, it becomes about that money. It becomes about that money. When they got them ads on them, you know, you see them ads, YouTube pay you for that. And some people, they touch a little bit of money, they get addicted to the money. And become a slave to the money. Because it's like, man, man let me make all I can make. Let me make all I can make but you end up losing the quality of life. And so that's why I give a lot, but I fit you in where I can. I 
ain't gonna I ain't gonna let my children go fatherless so that I could do a video for the world that don't really care about me. That'll turn it back on you in an instant. Say say a sentence wrong. Oh you know, I have supported you, but with that sentence right there, cancel, you are unfollowed. You know, the world don't care nothing about you. That job don't care nothing about you. You have your aneurysm, a hernia, carpal tunnel, that job, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, yes, just don't worry about returning to work. We have someone already that we've been interviewing for your position. So it's totally fine. Take all the time you need. It's just so unfortunate. The only thing we can say, we, we can't promise that we can hold your job. Job don't care nothing about you. Job don't care nothing about you. So guess what? You got to care about you. You got to take care of you. You got to do you. You got to make sure that you have balance in your life. You got to make sure that you take care of your mind, your body, your spirit, your priorities, your house. You know, take you a day and you go get you some paint. Paint your accent wall in your room. You know, take you a day. Go rock climbing. Well, don't do that because you slipped and fell to your death and blame it on me. Go do you something, walk your trail, you know, and take care of you. Give some time to you. Prioritize your loved ones, yourself, your dreams, and create balance. So I, I say that to say because I realized that's a lesson that I had learned for myself that I'm still learning is that you can't force an issue and you can't get so caught up on one thing that you start to neglect other areas but hey this is Tony Gash God bless you just a little short video today if I get the time I'm supposed to do a car chronicle but I'm going to this here dentist so um, I don't know if I'm going to feel like talking uh, after that uh, but God bless you we'll talk soon